Hello, this is Scott again. So welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science topics, including uh, platforms or software, both commercial and non-commercial. Today we're talking about open source R and continuing on with our time series and forecasting um, hands-on sessions. And uh, this should be R not Statistica, sorry about that. So last time we talked about autoregressive models or the time before that, last time was moving average. Today we're gonna to combine those together. We're gonna to talk about ARIMA. We have uh, talked about all the different components here. We're gonna put them together. And we're gonna to talk about non-seasonal ARIMA. And then in a couple of sessions, we'll actually be adding seasonal um, component to this series. So Right now, um, if you remember back, we talked about an ARP model. We talked about an MAQ model. We talked about um, differencing. Uh, and so when you put these together, you get an autoregressive um, integrated moving average is what ARIMA stands for. Uh, the parameters are P, uh, ARP. Differencing is the number of times the data is different so that you get stationarity. And then Q is the moving average, uh, number of coefficients of the moving average. So again, we've seen all of this, right? A constant, um, and then we've seen phi one through phi p for the AR, and theta one through theta Q for the MAQ uh, component of it with the white noise. So when you think about Special cases, this comes from Hyman and Dr. A. Um, special cases of ARIMA, we've talked about most of these, right? Uh, we've actually, I guess we've talked about all of these. We've illustrated, uh, generated these series where we had white noise, which is, uh, you know, ARIMA 000. We constructed a random walk um, back in the AR series, we constructed a random walk with a drift in the AR series. We also talked about an ARP and an MAQ. So let's go straight into our studio and illustrate this. We're going to, unlike last time where we used native R, we're actually going to load the FPP library from, from Dr. Hyman and Dr. A. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this series that's in here. So I'm just gonna plot this uh, US consumption expenditure uh, quarterly data. If I do that, I have, this is, it, it's by quarter, but it's really non-seasonal uh, data. And what I can do here is I can use this auto arima function to generate generate the model itself and then I'll look at the summary of that model here and if I do that the the function created the the best model for this data series which is an AR 20 or I'm sorry an ARIMA 202 um, two AR components here are the coefficients um, phi one and phi two. Here are the two moving average components. So theta one and theta two, um, the standard error uh, for, for each one of these uh, coefficients. And then we also get uh, some model fit parameters, which we'll be talking more about in future sessions as well. We've talked about some of this already. This is the Akaki information criteria. This is the corrected Akaki information criteria and the Bayesian base Schwartz um, or Bayesian information criteria 361. And then we can look at the different um, uh, measures of error as well. Um, you know, root mean square error, uh, mean error, uh, mean absolute error, et cetera. Uh, we, we, We'll be talking more extensively about these when we talk about model comparisons. Again, I want to keep this short. 
So next time we'll be diving a little bit more into the non-seasonal ARIMA models. And specifically, we'll be talking about um, you know, understanding a different set of these, these models, um, what, what happens with different parameters. Hope you can join me then. Thanks.